An optimistic look ahead from the newest apostle and other church leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Besides the naming of a new apostle, church leaders talked about the difficult economic times and provident living. We have team coverage and begin tonight with Carol Makita, who is live at the conference center. Carol. Lori and Rich, President Monson opened today's conference sessions by telling Latter-day Saints that the church is doing very well. There are now more than 13 and a half million members worldwide. Other church leaders address some controversial topics that have arisen recently, as well as delivering messages of hope to meet today's challenges. of praise opened the first day of General Conference. Latter-day Saint church leaders urged faith in troubled times. To those of you who are struggling with challenges or with disappointments or with losses, we pray for you. Our Heavenly Father loves each of us and is mindful of our needs. Being content with what we have, avoiding excessive debt, and diligently saving and preparing for rainy day emergencies. We need strong Christians who can persevere against hardship, who can sustain hope through tragedy, who can lift others by their example and their compassion. One apostle said the boundaries of good taste and public decency are declining. And when people of faith attempt to warn others of the possible consequences of their sinful choices, they're scoffed at and ridiculed and their most sacred rights and cherished values are publicly mocked. Church members of all ages expressed gratitude to be here. It's never disappointing. It's always so wonderful to come and, and hear what they have to say. This evening, another apostle told the young men not to decorate their bodies with tattoos or piercings, and he addressed gender. You were born a male. You must treasure and protect the masculine part of your nature. You must have respectful, protective regard for all women and girls. It was, it was incredible. I, I really loved being there, seeing the prophet and the apostles. It was wonderful. Also tonight during the priesthood session for the men and young men, in a talk President Monson titled Be Your Best Self, he told them in the world today we face difficulties and challenges, some of which can seem truly daunting. However, with God on our side, we cannot fail. Conference meetings continue tomorrow at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you're not coming here downtown, you can watch on KSL 5 TV. Laurie and Rich. Thank you very much, Carol. The General Conference also brought the